Hey, welcome to SmackDown Catfishing. I want you to stay tuned in with us today. We're over here on the Chattahoochee River on the border of Alabama and the Georgia line. And we're going to target some small blue cats and some flatheads today. So hopefully we'll be able to get you on some. We're going to show you how to catch some good eater size. Stay tuned in. hooked up with another one here and I'm going to show you I tell you what's going to be out today we're looking for some for some eaters and uh this is the fourth or fifth one here in just a little bit so you see what's going on and for some reason or another I think this one swallowed it now how he done that I don't know how because he didn't have it that long and I've really been having problems with them because the smallest hook that I have is an 8.8. .8. And I've had a little bit of issues uh, with them getting that hook in their mouth. But this is what I'm catching today. Uh, these are probably a pound and a half to two pounds. I weighed one a while ago. And that's somewhere in the neighborhood. This is the fourth or fifth one today. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna have me a mess to eat when I get home. My daddy fusses all the time because I turn them all the way all the time back. And I think when I show up today, I'm gonna show up full of cook with a cooler box, <laughs> pull them back that size and dump them off at his house. <laughs> but I, I'm really doing. There's really hardly no current here today, and so uh, and I'm in 14 foot of water and was this river is sort of shallow. And uh, I just put my three ray rig on, like I always do. I run it out with a cork, and I got me. Well, I did. <laughs> I did earlier have me a uh, 8.8 .8 mad cat on the end of it, but that one's he had it hung down his throat. So I just when I have him hung in the throat, I just reach in there and cut it, leave the hook in there. Hopefully I don't kill him. He can stay alive in my live well today, and so that's what I've done. And I'm just dragging these boats right behind this, uh, dragging these baits right behind the boat. And this river here can't be no more than 75 yards wide. So I do have a planer board on one side. I didn't put one on the other side because of the boat traffic. And I didn't want to take up the whole river. <laughs> but I, I could have just made a stretch up through here and covered everything on this river. But uh, that's what I'm fishing with. Uh, this is our technique, what we're using. If we're starting moving water a little bit later... We're gonna change this rig and go to something a little bit different. I'm gonna quit dragging. I will start to anchor up on some tops and on, on some ledges, and we will just start to anchor fish. But it's right now, there's very little bit of current. So my, my deal is, hey, I'm gonna carry the bait to them. If the current ain't moving, I'm gonna carry the bait to them. And I hope we, we running across some, we're catching some every now and then. I, I'm gonna tell you what. The ideal rod to fish with these small catfish, blue cats and channel cats, this is our Tangling with Catfish Whisker Whip. You can find these on the internet. Uh, TWC rods is what a lot of people refer to them as. They are Tangling with Catfish, and this is the Whisker Whip Series. It is, it's got a, man, listen, look, look at that tip right there. It's got a good tip to it. It gives them smaller fish something to grab a hold to, and uh, it's not so stiff. It gives some action there to it. So if you're looking for something for channel cat, a little bit smaller blues, hey, and I want to tell you, I have caught and landed a, a 60 plus, a 66, 67 pound blue cat on one of these whisker whips. And would by no doubt uh, have confidence if I hung one 100 pounds, he's coming to the boat. So, uh... If you have any more questions about catching some of these smaller fish, the, the thing is to just use a little bit smaller bait. And I'm going to show you in a minute what I'm doing because I'm, today I'm fishing with some shad and uh, just dragging them behind the boat up to here. Y'all stay tuned in with us. We got more fish on the way. And y'all just hang, bear with me. I got to, while we was talking, we done caught another little <laughs> I reckon this thing's full of them. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna catch me some eaters today. 
hooked up with another one, guys. Let's see what we got here. Maybe he ain't got my stuff tangled up. He don't. He's a flipping and flopping, though. I'm telling you. We got us a little channel cat here. Woo, we, we getting us a mess of these things, guys. Look right here. <laughs> we having a pretty good day. Sure are. We just use a small piece of the shed. I'm gonna show you what I've got. And uh, I mean, I'm using ain't much at all. Now we come over here today targeting these smaller fish. And there's a little piece of bait. You can see it in my hand. Let me see if I can get this camera here down. But uh, you know, it ain't real, real big. I'm just going to take this one. I like to see if I can get it and double hook it. What I call double hook. Do y'all see that? I run it right through his eye, come out, and went right back through again. And so if that fish tries to come up, he just can't get to the end of it and pull it off. So it seemed to work pretty good. And uh, hey, I may have another one on right here. Y'all hang with me. Let me throw this one out. Let me see if I can catch this other fish while y'all here with me. I think we got him on. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> we got him. I told you y'all was going to bring me some good luck today. Now, I'm going to tell you, because I, I told y'all earlier, well, you got to watch them little ones. Them little things will offend you. I told somebody one time, the little they are, the more the dangerous they are. Things as dangerous as a stick of dynamite, them little bitty fins. But I'm telling you, I come. This is what I come after. Uh, me and my mama love these right here. Stay tuned in with us. Thank y'all for watching. We got more action coming your way. We got something on here. We finally got us a. I don't know what it is. It may be a big old gar. Oh, we got a little blue cat on him. Well, there's another one for today. We're doing good on these right here, guys. There's another one for today. Y'all can see right there, them some good catfish right there. Good eating, baby. Fryer size. Fish on, fish on, baby. I put me some bigger bait on this plenty board out here. And I done had the bass too. Has hit that one. Come on here to daddy. And I have put three big old pieces of shad on this thing. And Jay Bird, you know what I say? It's all over now but the crime, baby. Guys, I want you to look at this. I don't know what this fish here weighs. I'm going to just give you an idea. I'm telling you, catfish is aggressive. He's right at four pounds. Probably about three. He's three pounds. We'll say three. The reason I shared that, three pound catfish, 10 out. Mad Catter HD is what I caught this fish on. His mouth, listen, I got another one over here, guys. Oh, let me, I can get him in just a minute. But you'll be amazed at what a three pound catfish, I had three shed on there about this long, and he come up and he hit that thing, we caught him. 